Hey guys, this is Isabel and Scarlett from Hooked on Dis. So today we're going to do an overview of Disney's Beach Club Resort. But before we do, I wanted to ask you guys what is your favourite place to shop at the Magic Kingdom? For us, we love the Emporium on Main Street USA. We love browsing as soon as we enter the park. There is always something that catches our eye and charges our credit card. What about you? Please leave your answers in the comments below. Are you all ready? Sit back, relax and enjoy. And let's begin. Disney's Beach Club Resort is a deluxe waterfront resort with a fun beach inspired theme. It's based on a relaxed, chilled New England style resort. The hotel consists of two five story buildings and features blue clapboard cladding together with whitewash wood trim. Throughout the hotel, there are sea inspired touches with hardwood floors and white wicker furniture. The main lobby has a relaxed and chilled feel and features seahorses, starfish, and shell decorations. On the outside, there is even a white sand beach. The resort is located on Crescent Lake and is ideally located within walking distance of Epcot, the Boardwalk and Hollywood Studios. Its prime location is one of the main appeals of this hotel. It is only a short 10 minute walk from the hotel to Epcot and a 15 to 20 minute walk to the studios. The hotel's waterside location also means it is serviced by Disney's friendship boats with water transportation to the studios, the Swan and Dolphin Resort, the Boardwalk and Epcot. The hotel's location also means it's a perfect place to watch the nightly fireworks from nearby parks. The hotel is located next to its sister hotel, Disney's Yacht Club Resort, and often shares restaurants, transportation and other facilities. Although sister hotels, the Beach Club has its own distinct sophisticated style and is the smaller of the two hotels. Disney's Beach Club Resort is divided into two buildings, one of which is a traditional hotel and the second is Disney Vacation Club Villas. Disney's Beach Club Resort has 583 rooms. There are many different types of rooms available at this hotel, from standard rooms, deluxe rooms, club level rooms and one and two bedroom suites, each offering different views. There are also studios and one and two bedroom villas in the DVC section. Due to the fantastic location of the beach club, it is a very popular place to stay on property. The standard rooms come in a variety of setups and usually include either two queen beds or one king size bed. These rooms sleep up to four adults plus one child under three in a cot. There are also some rooms that feature an additional day bed. These rooms sleep a maximum of five adults plus one child under three in a cot. As with all Disney rooms, they offer air conditioning and cable TV with the Disney Channel. The rooms are 381 square feet and are tastefully decorated in shades of beige with blue and white soft furnishings, beach inspired artwork and dark wood furniture. A large amount of the rooms also come with a private balcony. Standard rooms generally come with a view of the rooftops or car park, however you can also choose to pay extra for views of the gardens, woods or the water. Deluxe rooms are very similar to the standard rooms, however, they are larger and have two queen-size beds and a queen-size sleeper sofa. They offer views of the pool, lake or car park and sleep up to six adults. Or, for an even more magical experience, guests can choose a club-level room. These are similar to the standard rooms, however, have extra benefits such as evening turndown service, complimentary newspapers, Access to the Stone Harbour Club Lounge, offering refreshments from 7am to 10pm, daily and complimentary access to the health club. These rooms offer views of either rooftop, car park, gardens or water and sleep up to four adults. The one bedroom suites at club level feature separate living area and private balcony, offering more space. They have one king bed and one queen size sleeper sofa and sleep up to four adults. There are also a few two bedroom suites available at club level. These rooms feature two bedrooms, a separate living room with dining table, private balcony and kitchen facilities. They come with one king bed, two queen beds and one single day bed, perfect for larger families and sleep up to seven adults. They offer views of the gardens, woods or Crescent Lake. The Disney Vacation Club section of the hotel offers studio villas, one bedroom and two bedroom villas. 
The studio villas are similar to the other Disney Vacation Club studios, having a small kitchenette. They have one king bed, a double-sized sleeper sofa, and one single pull-down sleeper and sleep up to five adults. The one-bedroom villas offer a separate living area, full-size kitchen and two bathrooms. They have one king-size bed and one queen sofa bed, and they can sleep up to four adults. The two-bedroom villas have similar features as the one-bedroom villa, but offers additional space, perfect for larger families. They have a dining area, two bathrooms and sleep up to eight adults. The hotel has three heated pools. The main three-acre storm along bay is shared with its sister hotel, Disney's Yacht Club. This pool is probably the best pool at any Disney World hotel and is like a mini water park. It features a shipwreck boat that has a water slide built into the mask, so guests can slide down the mast straight into the pool. It also features a lazy river with a current that means guests can float along in tubes and has a pulsating water jets. The entire pool has a sand bottom. There is also three hot tubs and a children's pool with mini water slide nearby. The second pool, Admiral Pool, is smaller and quieter and offers relaxing swimming, perfect for those looking to relax and unwind. The third pool, Dunes Cove Pool, can be found in the Disney Vacation Club section of the hotel and features a hot tub nearby. The Beach Club Resort has a good selection of dining options to choose from. Guests can also use the restaurants at the Yacht Club next door and the nearby boardwalk. Cape May Cafe is a fun beach-inspired buffet table service restaurant. For breakfast, the restaurant offers Minnie's Beach Bash Buffet Breakfast, which features a buffet breakfast with characters such as Minnie, Goofy, Donald and Daisy. For dinner, the restaurant serves the seafood and more dinner buffet and features crab legs, shrimp, mussels and clams as well as the usual buffet-style food. Beaches and Cream Soda Shop is a small but fun 50s style soda shop that serves burgers, sandwiches and fries, as well as some amazing floats, shakes and sundaes. It is also home to the legendary Kitchen Sink Sunday, which is a huge and features ice cream, brownies, whipped cream, chocolate, cherries, sweets, fruit and more. Martha's Vineyard is a beach house inspired lounge that has a full bar and serves appetizers, wines, cocktails and draft beers. The Beach Club Market is a quick service restaurant that serves hot and cold food and offers breakfast, lunch and dinner. The restaurant features waffles, sandwiches, tasty baked pastries and even clam chowder. Hurricane Harnett's Waterside Bar and Grill is located next to the Storm Along Bay Pool and offers appetizers, light bites, snacks, cocktails, beers and wine. The hotel offers a good selection of recreational activities such as a jogging trail around Crescent Lake, tennis, motorised boat rentals at the marina, volleyball, movies under the stars, roasting marshmallows on a campfire, arcade, fitness centre and children's playground. Or for an extra charge you can even experience catch and release bass fishing on a guided excursion on Crescent Lake miniature golf at the nearby 36 hole Fantasia Gardens and Fairway Miniature Golf Course or a two hour pirate adventure cruise looking for hidden treasure. Guests can also enjoy the nightly live music and entertainment at the lively Jelly Rolls Piano Bar Abracadab Bar or the Atlantic Dance Hall Nightclub of the Boardwalk via a short boat ride across Present Lake. The Beach Club Resort is served by Disney's Friendship Boat Service with routes to Epcot, the Boardwalk, Swan and Dolphin and the studios. You can take in the scenery and relax as you sail Crescent Lake. The hotel also offers direct buses to Disney's Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom Parks, Typhoon Lagoon and Blizzard Beach and Disney Springs via the complimentary Disney's transportation bus system or for an additional cost try out Disney's minivan service. So thanks for watching our overview of Disney's Beach Club Resort. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell. Comment and like and have a magical day. Also, a big thank you to all our new subscribers this week. Stay tuned for our next video. Hey, Scarlett, what time does Donald Duck wake up? I don't know. At the quack of dawn. Dun, dun, dun. dun.